I'm Jeremy Williams, and this is Amiri Williams. I'm Tierra Williams. And welcome to TNJ's Child Care. This is the story of Tierra Williams, aged 21, who was riddled with bullets by her jealous husband Jeremy Williams, aged 25, who then fled the scene to be later found on the Interstate 65 with his head severely injured due to his actions to hurt himself. He was so jealous of her achievements in life even though she carried him along with everything she did. All that wasn't enough, he made sure he killed her. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. People are dead in Simpson County and Kentucky State Police are now investigating what they are calling a double shooting. This story will be taking us to the city of Franklin in Kentucky. The city of Franklin is located in the state of Kentucky, in Simpson County. Living in Franklin, Kentucky is a unique and enjoyable experience. The city has a low crime rate compared to other cities of its size. Tierra Nikia Williams was born on August 23, 2000 in Lexington, Kentucky to Terry Prince and Lakeisha McCory. Tierra graduated from Franklin Simpson High School in 2018. She participated as a cheerleader, dancer, and runner. Tierra was also an active member of the Praise and Worship Ensemble at Harvester Warehouse Pentecostal Church in Franklin, Kentucky. She attended dental school and graduated in 2019. She really put effort into making her life great, she decided to start a daycare out of the love she has for kids and in an effort to impact them in a positive way. Good morning, welcome to TNJ's Child Care. I know you are probably tired of me posting my daycare a million times, but you do what you gotta do, right? Anyways, next week is our first open house, and I'm super excited about it. We have a special guest coming. Can you guess who? Also, we have a whole bunch of different things planned. We give parents the opportunity to come in, ask questions. If you want to register your kid, you can. If you know anybody who might be interested, please share this video. We hope to see you there. Even if you're just coming to say hi, just come and say hi. See ya. She proudly owned T and J's daycare for three years before this unfortunate incident. Tierra, during this phase of her life, met a young man named Jeremy Williams, aged 25. He seemed like a guy who could take the spot and shower her with love and affection. Maybe not. This relationship was a blast, it had everything anyone could ask of. Tierra was so happy, things were so smooth then they decided to get married. It was a really great event, family and friends were there to show love and support for the newly wed. After getting married, Tierra got pregnant and it was another blessing coming their way. They announced it on social media and people were so happy for them. Everything about the baby was planned. They had a decent baby shower. This was just a relationship from heaven.
Tierra and Jeremy Williams had a stunning daughter not too long afterwards. The newborn baby was the most important thing in their lives, they both got tattoos of her name on themselves. Her baby was everything to her, she was described as an excellent mother. She hardly went a day without making videos of her baby. While taking care of her new baby, she still put effort into making sure every other thing in her life was running well. As the proud owner of T and J's, she made sure everything was running great so they could have a roof over their heads. I'm Jeremy Williams, and this is Amiri Williams. I'm Tierra Williams. And welcome to TNJ's Child Care. We're on the food program for Kentucky. We take Autobahn or CCAP vouchers. We offer lunch, breakfast, and two snacks a day. We have an infant room, a school age room, and a preschool age room. We are open Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Hi, Contact us for more information. Thank you guys for watching. Besides running, the household, taking care of the child, running the business, she was also always there to take care of Jeremy. She pampered him with love and affection, she showed him that she could be a great wife even though she had other things she had to attend to in her life. He sometimes reciprocate too by making her food and trying to compensate her with doing a lot. Their love in her view was growing and feeling great. Family and friends thought this was a very blissful marriage until thunderstruck. No one knew Jeremy wasn't too happy with all what was happening in his household, he was sort of jealous with all what she had achieved and insecurity creeped in. He would constantly bother about her talking to other men, or leaving her later in the future for other men. It got so serious that sometimes in the month of June, he could not bear it anymore. He got so upset during his regular rants that he got his gun and shot Tierra multiple times before fleeing the scene. Neighbors who heard the gun shots called 911 around 6.30 a.m. Once authorities arrived to the house on Patton Road in Franklin, they found a woman who had been shot and had died from the injuries. The woman laying on the floor was identified as Tierra Nikia Williams. Her corpse had been riddled with multiple bullets. She was transported to the medical center at Franklin where she was pronounced deceased by the Simpson County Coroner's Office. Troopers attempted to locate her husband, 25-year-old Jeremy Williams, in connection with the shooting death of his wife but could not locate him right away. Not too long afterwards, police found him deceased in his vehicle on northbound I-65 near the 23-mile marker. He had suffered a serious head shot injury which the authorities believe he did to himself. People are dead in Simpson County and Kentucky State Police are now investigating what they are calling a double shooting. Police say just before 6.30 Sunday morning, they responded to a home on Patton Road. Upon arrival, police found Franklin resident Tierra Williams with multiple gunshot wounds. She was taken to the medical center in Franklin where she was pronounced dead. According to KSP, they located the suspect, Williams' husband Jeremy Williams, on the interstate around mile marker 23 with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Just before 6.30 this morning, Kentucky State Police received a call for service in reference to a shooting incident that occurred at 6.37 uh, Patton Road in Franklin, Kentucky. Uh, troopers uh, arrived on the scene, um, located a deceased female uh, in the residence. Uh, the suspect in the first shooting uh, was located at the 23 mile marker of I-65 northbound. Um, he was located there by troopers, uh, deceased by uh, a parent's gunshot wound. Police say that they have detectives on both scenes collecting evidence and trying to process the crime. They assure residents that this was an isolated incident and that the public is not in any danger. This was a sad ending to the life of a promising young lady with an infant child. Jeremy could not handle a woman who was successful and he decided to end her life instead of walking away or trying to improve his own life. 
a very selfish move on his part. Simpson County family continues coping with the loss of their daughter to a double shooting in Franklin. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Gene Burke. WBKO's Anna Medina spoke with the family who remembers Tierra Williams as a loving and caring person. Me and my daughter had a relationship, not just a mom and daughter relationship, but we were friends, really close friends. Through tears, Lakeisha McCory is sharing memories of her daughter, Tierra Williams, who died in a double shooting on June 5th. You fall in love with your children from first movement, flutter in your belly. So I knew, I knew already then that I loved her. And giving birth to her and seeing her and holding her just intensified that. Williams was found dead with multiple gunshot wounds at a home on Patton Road. Officials later finding her husband, Jeremy Williams, on the interstate near mile marker 23 with an apparent gunshot wound it's it's hard it's hard not having her here because not only am i missing a piece of me but i'm missing that piece that she brought i miss talking to her every morning because we done got used to like talking to each other every day it's kind of hard not talking to her the McCorys continue keeping the legacy of Tierra alive as they look at pictures and videos, saying her biggest accomplishment was becoming a mom. She was just passionate about loving this child. She's really big on family, and we're really big on protecting her. <laughs> she kept us all together. A young mother's life cut short by tragedy. She was an angel sent to earth like believe it or not and i honestly believe that like she was sitting here for a reason she's goofy um she jokes around a lot um i don't know tiara was my best friend she was my role model per se i always looked up to her now her family just treasures the time Tiara shared with them, never forgetting the type of person she was. She was beautiful, inside and out. Like, her smile just illuminated. It didn't matter how dark you felt. If she would smile, like, just a piece of you would smile. A close source said Jeremy was very jealous of her success. Social media reaction condemned his actions. One reader wrote, another young lady who picked the wrong one. Another said, she was so successful and doing what she loved. He destroyed her life. He should have left her alone or just took himself out. A third person also said, nowadays they're taking till death do us part a little too far. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Tierra Williams. May Tierra's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.